so, yeah, the Sixth Invitational is not happening when it's supposed to be happening this year. But even though we can't see all of our friends in person at LAN, watch BDS hopefully take it, or my friend Colin doing shoeys in the audience, we aren't going to allow a pandemic to stop us from having Siege in February. And by we, I mean Desichu, Fresh, and whoever the heck else from the community that they've managed to pull in for this thing. Uh, I can't believe a retired analyst is really helping put this thing together. Come on, Jack. Enter the six meme invitational an international community tournament combining aspects of the professional casting streaming casting content circles of rainbow six into one event where we all sweat hard on hostage and secure area and don't give a shit about how bad our ping is it it's gonna be really bad hopefully you've all seen the trailer that i whipped up for it a couple of days ago but a lot of people had questions about what the heck this thing actually is and i can't tell you how much fun it's about to be it is 10 teams separated by region and in some cases by country in a round robin group stage and a single elimination playoff bracket it's happening february 20th and 21st which are actually the final two dates where invite was supposed to happen and there is a ten thousand dollar goal to raise funds for COVID 19 relief so it's already pretty damn cool but wait until you hear who the teams are there is no map pool almost no competitive rules in place hostage and secure area are playable options and because we're doing all of this online and not in person everyone's various connections to servers is going to turn the whole thing into a living hellscape there are five teams per group and those are played round robin style with the top two teams from each qualifying for the playoffs on day two that bracket is single elimination and all games including the grand finals are just best of three matches and if we ever need to go to a map three that will always be played on the current version of stadium the broadcast team at ccs has been fantastic enough to pick up both the mainstream and a b stream for this thing so go follow both of those channels right now so you don't come back to the comments a couple of days from now asking where the streams are jacob just shut up and tell me who's playing here is how the teams work we have one team from na canada apac latam russia the uk then two teams from europe and two wildcard teams that are mostly just comprised of idiots it's a pro player coach or analyst caster content creator and one other wildcard player that have to make up that team from each region the idea is most of the people who are on that team need to be from the region it's based in but some exceptions have been made for example ace of pyrite is playing for pyrites aces in latin america or leon gids playing for like and nuts in na why is that our team name this whole thing is so stupid. Let's start with Group A, which is mostly teams from EU and APAC. APAC in Heat is Jess, Ysera, Hybrid, Raven, and Spronagiri, which I suspect is going to be Jess hard carrying the lobby and Raven asking how to plant a diffuser. <laughs> Just kidding, buddy. I love you. Dix Disciples is Salty, Natterbright, Moderna Side, Fast Anne, and the Maximum Phallus Energy Man himself, R6 Dick, who's probably going to die first every round due to high ping and go back to rendering memes. The UK gets Dukes of Hereford, Citizen, Gig, Fraser, Snedger, and Earlswood, who, along with the Russians, are one of the only teams to be comprised of players from just that country. It does look scary, but there's a lot of personality on that team, so I'm hoping that they'll have some infighting that'll tear them apart. EU Sad Little Man, which is a reference to this legendary Feral tweet, has Feral on it, but also has Pengu, Sua, Milos, and Bikini Body. That is a rank stack and a half if I've ever seen one, minus Milos, but I think this is probably my pick to win the whole thing. Just kidding, they've replaced Suo with Hap. <laughs> what? And the Russians have Pasha No Biceps. What is this Counter-Strike reference doing in my good Christian siege? That team is Andrezy, Pasha, Faster TL, Aldi Yarg, and Always. And if the Liquipedia page is to be believed, somehow they also snuck Joystick in there? Is the Russian machine back? Group B has NA and LATAM teams on it, along with one... I, I, I don't even know what it's supposed to be. That team is Princess and her ponies, which is Kickstar, Arkuth, am I saying that right? Riley, Filthy, and Zack. It's technically supposed to be an EU team because of Zack and Arkuth. Riley lives in Berlin now with Pengu, and Kix was born in the UK, so it all works, and then... Filthy's just kind of there, I guess. Fox A's naughty list has Lonnie Lightning, Spoit, Autumn May, Shock, and Royal Penguin, which might look pretty good on paper, but watch this. Spoit and Shock are gonna go off and do their own thing. Lon is gonna get frustrated by no lack of competitive sensitivity and probably rage quit. Autumn May is gonna try to IGL with nobody listening, and Royal Penguin's playing on controller, so they're essentially gonna be handicapped the entire time. Canadians have Sorry Squad, or sorry, Sorry Squad. Flynn, Jarvis, Helby, Intero, and Fuyo. <laughs> 
<laughs> You've got Intero on your team and you think you're gonna do good? Might as well get Belle Delphine on that team and see which one of them sucks more. Pyrite's Aces is the Latin American team with Ace, Cameraman, Asterix, Bodega, and Lagonis. And I hope they're playing in English because I don't know offhand how much Portuguese Ace speaks. He casts in Latin America, so it makes perfect sense. It's just gonna be interesting to see how they function. And finally, I saved the best for last on purpose, the big boys. Here to defend Space Station's honor and win another Siege tournament in February is Lycan D's nuts. Rampy, Lycan, Leon Gids, Chowderhead, and this idiot. Don't look at my .7 KD in ranked this season, that means nothing. That is our spread of teams, that's how the group stage works. There's not a prize incentive aside from trying to raise money for COVID-19 charities if possible, and there is a trophy, I think? for the winning team, but I don't know what it looks like and I'm really, really hoping it's just a massive dildo of some kind. Just, just, just f it, why not? If you're looking for additional information such as exactly when and where you can find everything, then go follow R6 Meme Sports on Twitter as well as the CCS account so you don't miss out on anything. It's gonna be a little weird timing-wise because it also needs to coincide with the stream that Ubisoft is putting on for the year six season one reveal as well as the esports panel, which is happening on the 21st. So everything for the Meme Invitational is gonna wrap up before that panel stream begins. I'm probably going to be getting up at like 3.30 in the morning or something to play on Sunday. I I just want to, I, I want to die! If you got any other questions about it, please leave them in the comments or go follow those accounts and follow my Twitter, my Twitch, and this YouTube channel for more in the coming days. Please and thank you. We are approaching the end of the Rainbow Six Esports transfer window, which means roster transfers are about to start coming in pretty hard and fast. And also be sure to tune in to that panel on the 21st for additional information on how Esports is going to work in 2021. I'll see you then.